Tari Lake just suffered the ultimate humiliation in the defamation lawsuit being brought against her by Stephen Richer, who is of course the man that she accused of rigging the election and keeping her out of the governor's office, only for it to go absolutely nowhere and her to never bring any real evidence forward. Despite this, there of course were still the threats and other actions we see from this common election denialism and the victims of it, where Stephen Richer decided to retaliate the legal way through a defamation lawsuit. And this is where the humiliation really begins because Kari Lake has already decided she's not going to fight the defamation allegations. As the Daily Beast writes, she asked the court to set a hearing that would skip straight to the damages portion i.e. how much money do I owe you for what I did wrong? And this is very important because she can grandstand all she wants on camera and act and pretend and hoot and holler and say there was corruption. This is her in court where there would be oaths and legal repercussions for lying that she effectively has no evidence to defend herself and prove her claims to be true, thus beating the defamation allegations. And then quickly, Arizona Central writes, this only happened after she was faced with the prospect of, hey, you're gonna have to turn evidence over and that evidence could be used against you in court to prove you lied. Now, here she is trying to justify all of this in some sort of a safe face Twitter clip and explain away this concession as something that she did because it's a power move. Weaponizing the legal system to punish, impoverish, and destroy political opponents. We've all seen how they're doing it to President Trump. And here in Arizona, they're doing the exact same thing to me. Trump got his bond lowered by hundreds of millions of dollars, over 30%. Do you know anyone else that would happen for? Letitia James could have seized his property immediately and she gave him a 30 day grace period. Do you know anyone else that happens for? The truth is there is a two tier justice system in this country, but it's not Republicans versus Democrats. It's not left versus right. It's rich versus poor, privileged versus oppressed. It is a political witch hunt and everyone knows it. By participating in this lawsuit, it would only serve to legitimize this perversion of our legal system and allow bad actors to interfere in our upcoming election. So I won't be taking part. Instead, I will focus and continue to focus on the issues that matter to the people of Arizona. Can anyone name a policy or agenda she's put forth that's not vague without any legislative action actually being mentioned or solutions proposed? She cried this whole time, but just like Trump, her evidence would never hold up in court. And now she's trying to preempt that embarrassment by playing the optics game. Is this cringe to anyone else? Remember, this is the man that she said printed 300,000 fake ballots that she couldn't wait to take to court because she had all this proof and it was going to be a slam dunk and they were going to pay and she was going to have her day and all of this and da, 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 da. now the swift 180 in a straight acknowledgement of her lies where she's just trying to save face with it. She, she has nothing. That is what you have to realize. She did this solely to play into the political landscape of MAGA and where they were at at the time where election denialism was the cool thing. If you lose, say it's corruption. I didn't lose, we don't lose, Republicans lose, <laughs> right. Hanging her hat on that and she was just kind of hoping that please be enough to save my career or give me a career, I should say, as someone who's never been in politics, couldn't win her election and is just a leech onto whatever Trump says, it's just, Hilarious to watch her constant downfall. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support because the only way we become a society is together.